<laughs> there was a um, there's a uh, uh, interviewer like her thing is called Naked Battle Rap. So she asked battle rap because then she asked him sexual questions. Mm -hmm. So she asked him, "Have you ever done anything sexual with a battle rapper?" And he mm -hmm. was like, "Yeah, I I gave head to Jazz the rapper." And she was like. <gasps> You gave head to her? He was like, yeah. She was like, well, did she give you head back? He was like, no. I she respect like, the honesty. Oh. Yeah, she was like, I respect the honesty too, because he could have easily said no, you yeah. yeah. He could have easily said and then it would have been. people would have automatically just believed It would have been his word against mine. Yeah. But um, so she was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. And then, you know, some people was like, oh, if um QB's protecting her, if she if she let him give her head, I know they fucked, and like that's not how it works. Did you guys have a conversation after that hit the internet? Probably, but I don't really remember what it was. Was um, you tripping when you heard it? Like, why would he say that? I told you, I was waiting. Yeah. So it was just kind of like, I'm happy he said it when he said it, but I feel like he did it because I had a battle coming up. It was like perfect mm. timing. You know what I mean? Oh, let me throw that out there. But the thing is, he waited, he he gave me too much time to be able to write something to address it. So mm. I addressed it with the Gaddis battle. T to me, he like, me too much time. to me, I wasn't, sur like, uh, surprised that you, you know, had, like, a sexual moment with someone. Yeah. I was more, I was tripping on the fact that it was him, considering, yeah. like, if you follow, if you know who this guy is, he's a very... Yeah, nobody would expect... He's a creepy. controversial figure Jazz? in creepy? Battle Rap. Yeah. No, that's facts. I get it. Like, like the most was... wholesome and least wholesome person in Battle Rap yeah. together. You know what? You're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So, QP... Sound like a perfect love story to QP me. QP is, mean, is, yeah. is a... He is just over the top. Mm -hmm. Over the top. Uh, he, he was on Maury. Yep, he was yep. on Maury Povich. Yeah. Like, like, like you are not the father. Da, 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 like, what? Yeah, 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 he's over the top. Just, just, it's a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, it was like polar opposites. How yeah. the hell did Jazz link up with QP? Yeah. And my thing is, it just happened. It just happened. It happened. It just happened. Like, I, like, I probably think that might have been, like, my second or third time being around him. Mm. We've known each other. Mm -hmm. We've had conversations. But it was just the second, third time. Boom, it just happened. Boom, you, boom. you addressing it in that battle. And even, well, first of all, the whole battle, period, like, you was on some B-Rabbit shit. <laughs> you was oh, like, yeah. I'm about to say everything that bitch I know you're going to say. Yeah. Even when yeah. you had told her, like, ah, ha, ha, I knew she was going to talk about my job. I knew it. And then you said, yeah, bitch, they going to call me to, uh, what, I forgot what you said exactly. I don't want to get the I, bars. I, but. I said something like. Oh, I think if something happened to you and you call 911, you better hope they, they don't get me. me. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, like that, because it was just, I didn't battle in so long. So it was a lot in the three years mm -hmm. that I needed to talk about. Mm -hmm. The job thing came out, you feel me? And granted, the thing that is with jobs and battle rap, they're not a bad thing. Yeah. But I'm going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I talked about Vixen and her job, but it was like, it's not the fact that you have a job. It's the job that you have, so now I'm going to make bars out of it. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. If I'm battling you, I'm going to rap about you being an interviewer. Mm -hmm. No matter how successful you are, you could be the number one. You could be Oprah. Yeah. I'm wilding on you. Yeah. Because Feel free to throw me in the next. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, you, like, it doesn't matter how successful you are with whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. If I have something to talk about, I'm going to talk about it. So I'm like, all right, my job. I know she's going to talk about my job. I might as well do it, too. Were you hiding the job? I mean, it wasn't necessarily a hiding thing. It just wasn't a, I'm not going to put out my job. Right, right. Nobody's going to do, no battle rap is going to put out information. Yeah. Hey, guys, here's an angle for you. Yeah. I'm not going to put out. Yeah. Hey, guys, I did this with this battle rapper. Yeah. There you go. Right. That's not going to happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, how, how did it come out? So I guess um, Misfit knew somebody that was working there, and they texted it to her. What? Mm -hmm. That's kind of, that's super lame. And then Misfit, like, put out a blog and stuff. I'm not going to lie. Like, that situation, the QP situation, I didn't really care about because it was so long ago and mm -hmm. I don't look crazy. The um the job situation, I woke up to it. And I'm like, I'm seeing YouTube. I'm seeing tweets about it. It didn't really blow up yet. It, had, it took a few hours to marinate. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, how am I going to respond to this? Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I finally came over with a response, just responded to her. You know the fans, they, oh, Jazz and Misfit, Jazz and Misfit, because she wanted to battle me. That's and I been, wasn't accepting the battle. That's been, like, talked about since early Queen mm -hmm. of the Ring days. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't accept the battle, still haven't. Mm -hmm. um, so she kind of put all of that out for no reason, because, like, everybody has had bars about it before I even battled Gaddis. Mm -hmm. I didn't battle 
till a year after that information came out. So it was battle rappers just having bars for people with my job. Mm -hmm. I'm like, get all them bars out so my opponents don't got nothing to say. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, I think since I popped back out, the 911 bars ain't really been in. Geechee did it good. Yeah. But everybody else, it was just like, all right. Goddess was, was, Goddess was, hers was horrible. Yeah, I don't even, yeah, she didn't need that. Yeah. If you're going to do it, do it. Don't yeah. just say one line about it. Because as a fan, I know what I want to hear. I want to hear you talk about it. Mm -hmm. That's why with Geechee, when he did it, he did it the right way. Yeah. Because we want to hear somebody talk about this job. Yeah. How y'all just glossing over this 911 operator in Battle Rap? Talk about it. What was it like when you, when Magenta, I'm sorry, Les. No, are you good? What was it like when Magenta walked into work as Jazz the Rapper? Like when everybody at work knew that you were. Everybody still didn't know. So mm -hmm. it was just over time. Mm -hmm. You know, it was over time. Um, obviously working there is is a lot. I'll say most of the workers there are between 20 years old and probably like 35. Mm -hmm. Right? That's battle rap age for mm -hmm. real so i'll get recognized sometimes and stuff like that some people tried to you know some people didn't want to blow me up but it's like dog i don't care did you know anyone I mean? recognize the voice on the mm -mm. phone okay can i hear your 911 operator voice it depends on what time of the day it is if i'm tired if i'm in a good mood i need when your shift start when my shift start um with shift though, because I used to work overnight. I work three to eleven. I work seven to three. Seven o'clock. I'm tired. A day that you want to nah, be there. Nah, it's it's just like uh though. So the way New York does it is we do um New York City nine one one. What's your emergency? You say it like that. New York City nine one one. What's your emergency? Yeah, I would. I think I would have recognized you. <laughs> I'm bleeding out. I'm, Is this just nah, a I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck. A lot of callers, like they'll call and they be like, "I just spoke to you." No, you didn't. So I think that a lot of us sound the same on the yeah, phone too. Yeah. But I do get what you're saying because I do have a distinctive voice. Very I distinct actually have, voice. I have yeah. a sick yeah. obsession with all y'all voices out there. Like, who's all y'all? Like New York people. Oh, 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 then you definitely wouldn't recognize my voice. We all talk the same. <laughs> like, what? Have you ever seen that meme where it's like, like, I, you, uh, New York women, you see and they look good as hell, and then they open their mouth you and they sound, sound like, like a, a battle, battle rapper. rapper. You know how many times I got tagged in that? I love y'all. And I'd voices. be mad because it's like, damn, y'all right, though. But you don't look like if I saw you, I wouldn't think that, especially like when you first came out, like, and mm -hmm. you're not like a tiny woman but you're like you know Small. you're you're on the smaller so you're yeah. you know Petite. yeah fun yeah. size and um <laughs> but then you have like this commanding like yo what's up son all right Boy, you're like, dragging it <laughs> that's don't crazy don't get back on that her bad side like, yeah don't get back on that's crazy why you have to drag it like that? no no i'm just like the the voice nah, is yeah. very distinct and powerful yeah, and yeah. Like, i've always been like that since i was a kid though like five years old six years old i used to answer the phone my father used to be like, yeah, she's going to be shorty. Yeah, shorty, your voice was always deeper than the normal. Like, you know, it's not like I sound like a man no, as I'm don't. talking, but I have a deep, strong voice. And I kind of, it took me a while to embrace it. Yeah. You know, like just being 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Older guys are telling me, you know, your voice is, you have a really good rapping voice. And it, I never really understood it until I got older and just started realizing why people liked it. Like, as especially as a female, there's a lot of times where th their voices could get annoying. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, your voice can get annoying. Even in real life, there's people with annoying voices. I don't watch my interviews back because I hate my voice. I swear <laughs> to God, though, no, you... <laughs> He, no, you have a good voice. You have a super LA. Y'all are like the opposite. You have like the super South Central voice. She mm. got the super Brooklyn voice. It's just, but I, I swear <laughs> to God, your voice is so meant for rapping. Yes. I, I, your parents must have been listening to Big Daddy Kane when they conceived you or some shit. Honestly, like, yeah. I mean, I feel like my father probably was the heaviest influence of rap because my mom, she clearly didn't want me listening to it. But um, yeah, it probably would be my father. And again, um, I was watching battles from 13 mm -hmm. like it's crazy like i'm watching battles smack dvd watching grind time who would have thought i would be one of That's the biggest hard. battle rappers in the world yo we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the clips channel so if you want to help us out click subscribe get us to 500k yeah.